Hello, good morning and welcome to the Ladies. Today, the 5th of September 2024 and it's Thursday. So do remember to drop your comment and your views regarding some of the stories we will be looking at on the front page of the Nigerian newspaper. I am Sarah Elisha Dashum and I will be doing the program alongside Rachel Tansy. Good morning. Good morning, Sarah. All right, we have quite a number of stories on the paper we would love to look at and we will be starting with the Voice of Liberty newspaper. The big story on the paper, top price hike, NLC Nans cries foul threatening strike. The Nigeria Labour Congress has called on the federal government to reverse the planned implementation of the increase in price of petrol. Nigeria's stock collection too low, statement from Bill Gates, where we are having the committee moving for a 10% VAT. Nigeria now third largest debtor owes $16.5 billion, report from the World Bank. Tinibu vows to complete Ibadan Abuja Kaduna Kano Railway project. Sak Wiki now Northern Youth Arch Tinibu. Why Northerners dominate Tinibu's security team? A statement from Matawali. Nenadi Usman emerges LP interim chairperson. Not ready for constitutional changes, ACF chairman is saying. Says region experiencing one of the worst crises in history. And that's all the news on Voice of Liberty. On Nigerian News Direct News, the Labour Party crisis deepened as a red-led fraction disowned caretaker chairman. You can read details of that on page two. Zenit Bank seminar calls for aggressive push to boost the Nigerians' non-oil export. Someone will extend work-from-home policy for workers to boost productivity. She team up with Utala Commission $115 million, West Africa Container Terminal. The big story on the paper, fuel price hike, man LCCI slam NNPC forecast inflation surge as the NEITI decries Port Harcourt refinery delay data found on page 6. Nigerians exchange rate weakened to 1,625 Naira 88 um, Kobo to a dollar. Do well to read details of that, and that is the worst we've ever had in six months. So, do well to read that on page seven. We have a picture story on the front page, so do well to look into that. And that's all on the Nigerian News Direct newspaper. On daily independent petrol price hike will affect Nigerians and real ex sector. This is a report from MAN. You can start with the details on the front page. Not, not averse to constitutional review, ACF is saying. Creation of state police neck reviews or process gives four states September 9 to submit report. To adopt comprehensive report on Monday, federal government releases three billion naira to states affected by flooding. Bill Gates to inject 2.8 billion naira in Nigeria's healthcare and agri sectors. You can find all the details on page 29. Economic activities expand first time in 13 months, a report from CBN. Zenit Bank International Trade Seminar stakeholders list value added export as catalyst for growth. Federal government committed to securing Northwest Matawale assures Sokoto governor. LPP ex-minister Nenadi Usman as interim chairperson. Still on the paper, Africa holds opportunities for growth, Tinibu tells Chinese investors. Petrol pump price increase a recipe for crisis, PDP wants. We have 3,590 inmates are on death row in Nigeria, says NCOS. Details can be found on page 6 and that's all the news on Daily Independent newspaper. And on First News newspaper, Team Nigeria, Esther Ogu wins silver in para power lifting, detail found in the paper. NAS denies plan to protest against petrol price hike. Yesterday we saw one of the papers saying that NAS is saying they will go on strike. And here we're coming out to debunk, to NAS debunking that, saying that they did not say anything as such. So you can read details of that in the paper. Next set deadline for states to declare position on state police. Concerning hard times, Lagos government extend work from home policy. You can read that on the paper. Bill Gates slam low tax revenue says Nigerian's economy stagnated. 
as well the big story here 1000 naira fall price a brutal assault on nigerians pdp blast tinibu as nigerians scaffold with 897 naira per liter new fuel price Flood devastate Kano, 31 dead, 5,280 houses destroyed. As well, we have EFCC arrests, 56 inquiry, internet fraud crackdown. More data found in the paper. Nupeka plot um, Dengote refinery. And we have the picture story where we can see President Tinubu and the Chinese president. Xi Jinping observe um, at Lagos State Governor Sangwo Lu sign a memorandum of understanding with the Chinese company CCECC for the construction of the Lekki Ekpe Link Bridge during President Tinubu's official visit to China. And that's all on First News newspaper. A new Telegraph newspaper, Bill Gates is saying that Nigeria's economy has stagnated says government must raise tax, invest in health and nutrition. We can start with the details of his statement on the front page and continue on page 3. Increased interventions reduce external reserve to $36.24 billion report from the Central Bank of Nigeria. Tinubu to Chinese Premier Africa hold vast opportunities for investment and growth. NBA offers free legal services to hashtag end bad governance protesters. Northern governors decry Martha attack commiserate with families in Yobe. The big story on the paper, LCCI, labor, new fell pump price will bring severe hardship on Nigerians. Job losses from shutdown surge in inflation loom. Federal government to NLC president never negotiated minimum wage with fell price. Tinibu pushing Nigerians to the wall, statement from PDP. NLC says denial of president's offer amusing. We can find details on page 2, 3, 4, and 26. Emo holds emergency security meetings following attacks and killing of operatives. Petrol landing costs hit 1,100 naira per liter. Details can be found on page 8. Nigerian prison death row population hits 3,590. Still on New Telegraph State Police, NEC gives governors Monday ultimatum to make submissions. The ACF is saying not suffering its worst challenges. Details of his statement can be found on page 2. And we have a study that says common coffee habits can pose health risks. So you might want to cut down on your coffee consumption. Details of this study can be found on page 26. And that's all the news on New Telegraph newspaper. On Metrics newspaper, stakeholders advocate increased investment in non-oil export products as a panacea for economic diversification at the 2024 Zenit Bank International Trade Seminar. You can do well to start reading that on the front page and do continue on page 3. Super Eagle winger Ademola Lukman nominated for Ballon d'Or. You can do well to read that on page 20. Amid economic hardship, Bill Gates says tax collection in Nigeria is pretty low. Tax the federal government and states on health care funding. Do well to read that on page 3. Concerning the state policing, NEC mandates states to make submission before the deadline, which happens to be on Monday. NAS stress in nationwide shutdown over fuel price hike, and we're seeing that they have already rectified that. So I believe the metrics should do well to follow up on that story. New tweets in Labour Party crisis as caretaker committee chairman emerges. Peter Ubi approves removal of Julius Abure. The turn of Abure's National Working Committee has elapsed coming from Governor Oti. No vacuum in the leadership of the party coming from Abure. And then describe Oti's caretaker committee as a department in Abia State Government House. Do well to read all that on page 2. Nigerians' power generation breaks three-year record, reaching 5,330 megawatts. Non-oil export hit $2.7 billion on rising demand for made-in-Nigeria product. Concerning whistleblowing, price you pay for speaking truth to power, coming from David Odie. You can do well to read that on page 9. And as well, we are having um, concerning entertainment flavor impersonator sentenced to two years in prison.
to Rail 3 that on page 19. We still have the feature story concerning the Zenith Bank Trade Seminar. You do well to get the paper read more detail of any of the story that is quite of interest to you. On Daily News Hub, how NNPC can function optimally by Prince Yenisi Shailon offers solution to Nigeria's economic problems. The big story on the paper, press crisis hits LP as OB, OT, NWC disagree over caretaker chair. NWC kicks disowns Nenedi. Usman insists Abure remains legitimate national chairman, declares ex-finance minister's appointment illegal, unconstitutional, and mischievous, says Umahia stakeholders meeting a charade, a waste of time, resource of Abia people by Governor Oti. Tinibu Wike and inclusion of Abuja people in governance. We have PDP class impeached LG chair Adedeyi or four primaries. This is in Ogun. Fuel pump price hike, Nance Fashion dismisses plant nationwide protests. Aidati War campaign office boggled under suspicious circumstances. Again, gunmen attack Rivers APP Secretariat shoot security guard. Galatasaray unveil Nigerian forward Victor Simen. PDP rejects pump price increases its brutal assault on Nigerians. 3,590 inmates on death row in Nigeria. And then we have a picture story from left to right where we can see Chairman of Dongote Foundation, Aliko Dongote, and Microsoft Chief Executive Bill Gates arriving for a meeting of the National Economic Council at the Presidential Villa in Abuja yesterday. And that's all the news on Daily News Hub. On the Daily Times newspaper, core members should expect increased allowance soon. Finally, this I think this will be a good news for all our core members that they should be expecting an increase to their allowance already. They are crying. They are yet to see the allowance for August. Maybe it will start dropping in soon. Do well to read detail of that on page 4. ACS seek unified action in addressing Northern Nigerians' challenges. Concerning fuel price hike, a Fanny Ferry urges the federal government to order NNPCL to reverse itself. Naira hit six month low amid volatility and dollar liquidity woes, detailed in the paper. Fuel price hike, brutal assault on Nigerians, coming from PDP, says Tinubu and APC have lost relevance in governance. Petrol price increase will worsen poverty among Nigerian workers coming from the trade union. NLC accuses presidential aid of amnesia, falsehood, maintains position on petrol price. As well, next to governor, summit report on state police by September 9. Direct state to submit details of damages caused by flooding on Monday as well. Downside, we have federal government calls for enhanced leadership operational efficiency in federal hospitals and we have a picture story here where we can see the chairman of the nigeria local government area of UB state um, during a temporary regards for kanu highway damage so we're seeing they're trying to see what they can do concerning the damage being caused by flood over there and that's all on daily times newspaper on the nation newspaper, a bureau clashes with OTOB over setting up of interim ESCO. NEC gives FCT Quara three others Monday deadline on state police. Chinese firm to build Lekki Epel Link Bridge, Sanwo Lu signs packed. Details can be found on page 5. Policeman 12 others killed in Emo, Niger, and Plateau attacks. The big story on the paper queues persist commuters stuck despite petrol price hike. NLC presidential aid disagree over claim. Man LCCI least effects NBA TUC kick. Federal government kicks off consumer credit with 500,000 beneficiaries. Lagos extend work from home policy. Police school squad for Abuja. Details can be found on page 3. And that's all the news on the Nation newspaper. All right, on the Daily Sun, we will be looking at the big story, commuters ground over four price hike, with a rider here saying transport fares saw commercial vehicles of broader scarcity lingers. NAS demands reversal, plan nationwide protests. 
Lagos extend work from home arrangement and we have presidency denies NLC alleged betrayal. Nigeria intensify effort to exit FATF Green List. And on 3 million Naira extortion, police arrest arid officers suspects to face orderly room trial dismissal. Consigning state police, NEC gives four state FCT deadline to submit report. One decision taken will be binding on all. Coming from the PDP, for price hike brutal assault on Nigerians, order NNPCL to reverse it, a Fanny Ferry tells the federal government. Nigeria now the third largest IDA debtor with $16.5 billion liability. Also, we have not ready for talk on restructuring. New constitution coming from the Ariwa called Alternative Forum demands apology from region leaders. Downside of the paper, Bill Gates announces $2.8 billion investment to boost health care nutrition and agri in Nigeria. We have two pictures. Story one is from the Zenet Bank during their seminar yesterday and the other is where we can see some of the leaders that met to expand the Labour Party stakeholders meeting in Umahia Abia City yesterday. And that's all on the Edison newspaper. On this day newspaper at Zenit Bank Trade Seminar stakeholders advocate increased investment in non-oil exports. Labour Party Sachs Julius Abure led NEC set up 29 member caretaker committee. Attack on Yobe cowardly statement from President Tinubu. The big story on the paper, petrol price hike, PDP labor unions, a Fanny Ferris CSO's fume, lambast federal government. The writer says 1,000 naira per liter brutal assault on Nigerians, says opposition party. NLC TUC demand reversal, insists its breach of agreement with government. LCCI Nasima OPS others express concern over effect on businesses. We have a picture where we can see Zenith Bank International Trade Seminar on Non-Oil Export. And that's all the news on this day newspaper. On Blueprint newspaper, DSX spokesman Ofunaya redeployed details found in the paper. On business, Dengute Industries emerged Nigerian most valuable brand for the seventh time. Concerning flooding, summit inventory of destruction, September 9, neck order state. Issue state and FCT deadline on state police detail found on page 8. A general lied on minimum wage deal over point price hike. This is coming from the presidency. Not, not afraid of constitution review and restructuring. This is coming from the Ariwa Consultative Forum. With the rider claim past exercises targeted at the region, apologizes for northern leaders' failure. Orgy speedy action on insecurity, and then we have the rising cost of living. As well, we have a uh, Zenet Bank Trade Seminar, which is a picture we have about 3,590 inmates on death row nationwide. And as well, we're seeing gunmen attack two police community and kill numbers there. And that's all on Blueprint newspaper. On Nigerian Tribune, ACF is saying North is ready for constitutional changes. LP crisis, Nenadi Usman named as caretaker committee chairman. Perpetrators of Yobi killing will be brought to justice, Tinebu is assuring Nigerians. Northern governors condemn Mafa attack, call for intensified security efforts and swift justice. 3,420,000, 3, rather I take that again, on cholera, 342,000 cases, 2,400 deaths recorded this year, report from the World Health Organization. Gunmen kill 11 in Plateau communities. Bill Gates announces $2.8 billion investment in Nigeria. Nigeria, China moves to revive local currency swap. Details can be found on page 6. The big story on the paper, NBA, Nasima, LCCI, Man, PDP, Fault, Petrol Price, Hike. This is a brutal assault on Nigerians. Hike may impact manufacturing, forces SMEs to shut down, cause further job losses, Man, LCCI, won. NBA calls for immediate reconsideration. 
bandit imposed heavy levies on farmers to access land. Boko Haram worsen hunger crisis in northern Borno. On state police, Kwara Sokoto Adamawa Kevi delay neck decision. Get Monday deadline to submit report. Council sets up flood disaster committee. States get 3 billion naira to ameliorate effects. Details can be found on page 17. And that's all the news on Nigerian Tribune. On the Garden newspaper, outrage at high cost of petrol scarcity push businesses to brink. Data found on page 6. Tinubu World Chinese Investor says Africa holds opportunities for growth. Next set deadline for state police report to release 3 billion euro flood relief funds. Obasa and Joe Anyaku and others lament impunity and poor leadership. Federal government review prisoners feeding allowance by 50% raised the budget to 45 billion naira. Buhari, northern governor of Saudi Arabia, condemns UB killing. Gates warns of uh, raising mystery, says Nigeria spend less per capita on its people. You can do well to it in the paper. Zenet Bank and others urge value addition to export for economic growth. Shaitima inaugurates $115 million upgrade APM terminal in Oni. Data found in the paper. Downside of the paper, we have over half of sponsor building National Assembly in the last one year recycled. You can do well to read that on page 5. And that's all on the Guardian newspaper. On leadership newspaper, Shaitima inaugurates $115 million APM terminals upgrade. Nigeria must tackle malnutrition and food insecurity, Bill Gates is saying. Northern governors condemn MAFA attack, demand swift justice. The big story on the paper, fell pump price, pressure mounts for immediate reversal. Expert prices of goods to rise, manufacturers won. It's brutal assault on Nigerians, PDP is saying. Leadership CMG orders strengthening media cooperation. 3,590 Nigerians on death row. Nine killed in fresh attack on Plateau community. Details of this story can be found on page 16. POS registration operators sue federal government as deadline ends today. And that's all the news on Leadership Newspaper. All right, on the Vanguard newspaper, power generation reverse gain dips by 45.4% to 2,753 megawatts. Sheitima inaugurates $115 million upgraded West Africa container terminal. China to help Nigeria fight money laundering terrorism financing. With the writer saying Nigeria, China moves to revive the local currency swap. And I think if we go back to that, possibly it might help our own currency. Do well to read more detail on page 13 and 9. We have Ninida Usman emerges interim chairperson of Labour Party. Concerning petrol price hike, we have Nasima LCCI NECA worry over jobs and economy. Hike in price fails to improve supply, clears the queue. Then we have Nesima, OPS worry over impact on businesses and citizens. We have job losses and others loop, a report coming from the LCCI. High will worsen poverty coming from NECA. Action aid worries over the pump price hike. Then we have goods and service to cost more, a report coming from the CTI. And Dawn is saying higher inflation on the way which that is very, very possible. Data found on page 5. We have the picture story at the APM, the APM's Container Terminal Commission in Oni, and as well the Northern leaders are saying we are ready for change of constitution. Detailed on page 9, and that's all on the Vanguard newspaper. The major stories on the Punch newspaper, Neck fears poor harvest as flooding kills 205. Nigeria's economy has stagnated, Bill Gates is saying. The big story, petrol scarcity, NNPCL bars, independent marketers amid surging prices. Three PMS vessels arrive, transport fares jump as major marketers raise fuel price. State police neck to brainstorm on 32 states report. PDP shifts NWC meeting over governors and weak case tension. 
Abure rejects OT's 29-man peace panel. Nigeria police will torture or kill me if I surrender. This aid coming from the wanted Britain. Details can be found on page 10. Arms importation, federal government declares emergency in Oni port. And that's all the news on the Pointry newspaper. All right, let's take a look at some of our sporting um, papers where we started with the Punch Sport newspaper. On Punch Sport, we have exclusive here, Lightning won't strike twice, where we're having midfield daily by Shiru Ashot Eagles will be ready for Benin Republic. Detail found on page 7. Still on Punch Sport Extract, we are having Usik only interested in Joshua Fury Boots as well, United Axe. Tussle Lastain Hack replacement. Leicester win point deduction appeal that we have for Fana desperate to leave Chelsea. As well, Chelsea still key on Ashime. You can find that inside the paper. And we have Owuni Savo Eagles return after 10 months. As well, we have um, Okukule Eyes the Parametrics Table Tennis Medal. And we have other stories for sport lovers. So you can do well to grab the punch sport extra and read detail of any of the sports sport that is of interest to you. On Sporting Sun newspaper, Lukman makes 2024 men's ballon the oil list. Tony now highest paid English player in history. Details can be found at the back page. Man United keeping tabs on Joachim Lowe as manager. Sterling gets Arsenal jersey number 30. And we have Sibelos faces three months on sideline. Details can be found on page three. Okoye Ohena Charles Swell Super Eagles Camp. 22 players now in Uyo Osime expected today. Fans to pay 1,000 Naira, 3,000 Naira to watch Eagles and Cheetahs. Onochu set to join Osime in Turkish League. In Didi Battles Vadi, are you four others for Leicester Goal of the Month? Napoli Beck recreates Lukaku's special edition cake tribute. Napoli's Beck recreates Lukaku's special edition cake tribute. Details can be found at the back page. How Brogba convinced Osime to join Galatasaray. Anthony Joshua set to break incredible boxing record. Details at the back page. Real Madrid plans 2025 soup for 130 million euros Rodri. Rabiot offered eye-watering 20 million euros per year Saudi deal. Mbappe PSG to meet French football's legal committee. Details can be found at the back page. And that's all the news on Sporting Sun newspaper. Well, that's how far we can go as well on the program this morning. Thank you so much to all our followers. Thank you to the supporters as well to the entire production crew. Once we come again tomorrow, please do have a wonderful day ahead.